to ask you about uh, some of the events that went on at Self Help Graphics. For example, um, did you ever attend any of the Day of the Deads? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> and um, can you describe the atmosphere? Um, oh, it was uh, just, just, it was like a homecoming always, you know? There would be artists, because, you know, when I think about it in terms of the, the time, the, you know, my experience started in 90 and, you know, continued on. Um, and, you know, so young, old, just, and it, it, it just, it really would be, you know, a lot of the artists that maybe had been involved with self-help even from before that um, would come back, like that would be the day they'd come back. You know, everyone would kind of come back that day. That was the one event that people would go to. Um, and so it's just that sense of community amongst the artists. And then also what would happen is that, um, as I said, self-help sort of was connected to all of these other communities through the collaborations and, and the organizations. I mean, I, I cannot stress enough how many different organizations and, and cultural communities were linked through self-help graphics. And so those people would come. So it would be, you know, everybody would be there. It would just be this place where, and then the, the local community would come and then they would have the tours of the local, you know, kids coming, walking over from grammar school to come and, and uh, uh, come see the, the altars. And, you know, it was just, it was just really, um, you know, just it, it just it, it it brought everyone together, and in this in this this celebration of you know life and death, and it's something that is is universal to everybody. So it was a really great. It was just really a, an amazing and and just it, it could be exhausting. I remember one time when we had the concert there. Oh my God, I would. Just so much work, and then we had the con then the next year we had the concert at the Ford Theater, and that was crazy. And I ended up being the the backstage. I was like the stage manager back to make sure everyone was there and on time and on stage. And, and I had no background in theater, and like here I am, like telling people like, get on now, no, and, you know, like trying to like push all these like people there to like get them on stage. <laughs> You know this whole thing and then there was this little fight that went on backstage of like who had more time and what it, you know I don't know it was just crazy and it was like how did I end up here you know that's I don't do this but I guess I did <laughs> and um what were some of the other um events